That's kind of the difference between what the local schools do. And we're trying to bring a true American education here where kids can speak about what they believe in and share their ideas. I was born here in Taiwan. However, I moved to the United States when I was 12 years old. I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area. You know, I look back to my high school years. When I was in high school, I was uh, simultaneously in three orchestras. I ran in the cross-country team, and then I was in many school clubs. I did so many things that are so interesting, and, and it wasn't possible if it wasn't an American-style education. And I want that for my children as well here. And this is exactly what is offered here, with the freedom to pursue your own interests. Even though we're an American school, they do try to also keep the international flavor. They, they don't ignore that we're living in Kaohsiung. KS has done a really good job, and they're working really well, to keep our Chinese program very strong as well, too. I'm Angel Huang. This is my second year in KS, and this is my 11 years being a teacher in Taiwan. 在高雄美國學校的中文課,他重視的是能力,他教給學生很多不同的能力。那相對於台灣的學校,他比較重視的是背跟記憶的能力。所以在這裡的學生,他所學到的能力是他在日後還可以用到的。it's very good for families that want their kids to have a very good American education, but don't want to lose the international flavor that we have to living in Kaohsiung. The thing I really liked about the school is that it really gives you some freedom on um, what you want to, it, it lets you pursue what you really like. I do a lot of sports. I've been in Acamas Volleyball and last year I was also in soccer. I'm also in Cadenza Club which is like a performing arts sort of club and I feel like our school really helps provide these um, possibilities to the students. Kids get a great experience here. We, we are a true American school. Even though academics are our top priority most of the time, we still push very hard with the physical well-being through our sports after-school activities and phys ed programs. The athletic program at KAS has come a long way in a short period of time. I've been here a year and a half and I've seen already tremendous growth um, in the whole department as a whole. Just the level of seriousness in terms of athletics has increased tremendously. Very important for their development, I think, as students, not only in the classroom, but after school to be able to come out and express themselves physically and, and competitively has been, has been really, really positive. I think what I learned here the most is you really have to go for what you want. You can't just stay at one spot, you really have to get moving. You really have to know what you want and it really helped me develop my passion for biology, which is why um, I will probably be going to uh, major in biology next year at UC Berkeley. We've had a very good success. The students are highly motivated. Um, they present uh, really an opportunity for these schools to enroll very diverse and interesting bicultural students. And uh, we've had students placed in, uh, in Ivy League institutions. This year we had uh, six students admitted to the University of California at Berkeley. I believe four will actually attend. Uh, we have a student going to Carnegie Mellon University, to Washington University in St. Louis. I have two kids, a boy and a girl, girl who's graduating, and my son is uh, going to be in 10th grade. Time has just gone by so fast. She was uh, seventh grade when she started here, and uh, she's going to NYU. I'm really proud of our high school uh, system here. Uh, almost all the kids get into their first choice of schools. I must say that it's really helpful because KS helped me to discover my hobby and what I'm interested in. After one year in college, I know that KS really um, built my basic knowledge in a lot of fields like for example, if I chose art, it really helped my art techniques improve through my high school life. We just recently had our 14th graduation ceremony, so the high school is still in its infancy. Maybe the most important thing that we do in the eyes of our students is that uh, once the IB exams are finished, we have a few weeks before graduation. Our students end their high school experience by going back out into the community for a week volunteering in places such as assisted living homes, 
uh, animal shelters. We have a senior project. We don't spend money and go off to Italy or France and enjoy the weekend. Instead, we sort of just um, volunteer ourselves. For this year, we're volunteering at the Bethany Christian Home. So this is a home to a lot of um, orphaned, mentally challenged kids. So we're taking care of them. And then right now, um, we're sort of doing the field work. I think what Dr. Farrell really had in mind for us is to really show us how very lucky and fortunate we are to, yeah, by, by letting us come here, we see people who are, well, not as uh, fortunate as we are, but still they are very, very happy in their own way. And that really, that really taught me that one thing things like, you can be happy no matter what circumstances of life you're in. <laughs> what I learned from the trip is that, first of all, I'm a very, very lucky boy. To, they end their career by saying, yes, we we're fortunate to, to, to receive and we want to give back a little before we leave. And I hope that that springboards them into a life, life of giving.